Okay, let's get this clock done. Yes, you see me putting another layer of resin down, but this is it, I promise. I do want to point out in this next step you see me using this yellow heat gun that I have not used in a long time. So the inside of it was full of dust and whenever I turned it on I blew dust particles all over my clock. I like to have never got all the dust out of it but lesson learned when you turn your heat gun on always point it away from your work and let it blow for a few seconds so you don't make the same mistake that I did. I just put my white casting craft down and now I'm putting some clear resin on top of the white. I have found that this technique keeps the colors from mixing and blending whenever you are blowing your waves out. I have definitely gotten a lot more confident in my wave making. I know it's taken me 16 days to get to this point and I ran into a lot of issues, but I wouldn't take any of it back because I've learned so much from making this clock. Here you see me just putting some clear resin down on my sand. I just want it to dry level because I went in and added the waves and another layer of the ocean so I didn't want it to have a gap. Okay, day 17 and we are almost finished with this clock. Now it's time to learn how to do something else. I'm trying to figure out the best technique for me to remove all the resin drippings. If you remember, I, I put liquid latex on the back of it and that is what I am trying to pull apart there. In the end, I figured using that one particular nozzle that I showed you, it really does help to scrape off around the edges and get all those resin drips up. And if you've watched all my videos, you know there's about 15,000 different layers of resin on this clock, so the drippings are 
pretty thick. Also, probably worth mentioning that if you have a smoke detector anywhere near you, when you're heating up this resin to scrape it off, it does smoke and it will more than likely set your smoke alarm off. This did take a little bit of time to remove, but it was satisfying. Here is the technique that ended up working the best for me and the quickest. Once I got all of this removed, um, it was fairly clean on the back, but I didn't like the way it looked. I just wanted it to have more of a finished look, so I just put some primer down on the back, put some silver cheap acrylic paint that I had, painted it on there just to give it a semi-finished look. Day 18, this is it, putting the final finishing touches on, and we can call this done. Thank you everyone for following me through this journey. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. I have two videos that will be coming out of some really cool pieces that I did. One for my husband for our anniversary and one for my dad for Christmas. So stay tuned.